In this video we look at synthetic division. It's a, another way to divide polynomials and it only works when we divide by linear factors, so x take k. So in this case I'm dividing by x plus 2, so I can use this technique. Uh, first, however, I'll do this one by long division, uh, just with the coefficients. So x plus 2, I'd have the 1 and the 2, and that is going into the x cubed, uh, minus 2 for the x squared. There's no x term here, so 0, then the constant term is 3. Starting two terms in, I multiply 1 by the 1 and 2 to get 1, 2. Subtract, I get negative 4, bring the 0 down. Now multiply the 1 here by negative 4, and I get negative 4, negative 8. Subtract, I get plus 8. Bring down the 3 times the 1 by 8, and I get 8 and 16. Subtract, I get negative 13. All right, so therefore, my polynomial, I can express that as the quotient here, so x squared take 4x plus 8, multiply by the divisor of x plus 2, plus the remainder, which is down here, of negative 13. So let's just do take 13. All right, so that would be p of x. Um, if I were to do it using synthetic division, then what I do is I <coughs> get the 0 from my divisor, which is negative 2. So I now write my cubic, the 1, the negative 2, 0, and 3. And now, unlike the um, long division, I'm going to add the 1 and the 0. And now I multiply the negative 2 and the number down here, and I write the result there. I now add these two numbers so to get negative 4. Now I multiply the negative 4 with the negative 2, and I get 8. Add those numbers. Multiply that 8 by negative 2, add those numbers there, and that last number we separate off. That last number is the uh, remainder, and this term here is the quotient. And notice 1, negative 4, and 8, and with my long division, 1, negative 4, and 8 were the values I had up here for my quotient. And the remainder was negative 13, as it is over here. All right, next one. All right, um, this one here, I can divide that one synthetically. Once again, I'm dividing by a linear factor where the coefficient of uh, x is 1. So now I put the 0, which is 4, in front of my little L shape here. And I've got the 2, a 0 for the x squared, minus 1 for the x, 1 for the constant. Always put 0 there. Add up those numbers. Now multiply with the 4. Add, multiply with the 4, add, multiply with the 4, and I get, what's that, 124. Separate that off, add those, that's 125. So, if I were to work out this uh, expression up here, then x take 4 goes into that cubic 2x squared plus 8x plus 31 times. And the remainder is 125, so write the remainder over the divisor of x take 4. Remember, that means you could write 2x cubed take x plus 1 as the quotient, 2x squared, times by the divisor, and then plus the remainder. Okay. And that is exercise 2d3.